I am in the process of replacing a indirect water heater for the Wall McLean uh, Ultra that I replaced the heat exchanger on a few weeks ago. And I'm going to show you something that I'm about to do. First off, here's the tank. I haven't pressed anything in yet. Um, but this is our heating supply line with an air vent. This looks kind of dumb, but that's what I had to do. We can always uh, swap out this for one fitting later. But supply line comes down, 45s right into the boiler supply tank in. Here's our return out, which goes up and onto their manifold. The hot water leaving the tank right here goes up and into this mixing valve. And our cold water coming in comes to the bottom right here, which also has a recirculation line that hasn't been on, but I was going to cut it out, but I figure I'll leave it there just in case they want to use it one day. Um, but this expansion tank needs to be replaced. Um, now, if you look at the tank, it's ST12. This is the new one. Recharged for 50 PSI, max pressure 150 PSI. And somewhere in the manual, it tells you, um, let's see, water heater size, we got a 40 gallon. Um, so we're good on that. But it tells you to match the water pressure with the air pressure in the tank. So got my hose here and my pressure gauge and this is coming right off the main so I'm gonna hook right up to that with my double sided hose connection which is difficult to do one handed but I'll get it And the, other end of the and the other end of the hose is going to go on the pressure gauge, which I'll connect off camera, I'll make nice and tight, and we'll read the street pressure. Okay, so with our pressure gauge hooked up, we're reading zero, it's closed. I'm going to slowly open this up, let the hose pressurize, and we're reading at 70... You know, 65 PSI. So I'm going to now close this because we don't need this to be open anymore. And take our expansion tank. I hear water. Let that pressure out and make sure that we stop draining, which we are. Okay, so this is the bottom of the expansion tank. And here I have my Milwaukee air pump, which I will need a battery for. on don't tell me it's broken nope there we go pull out my little hose connector pulled out my little hose screwed it onto the tank reading 44.5 psi we want that to be 65 or else it won't work properly so just going up and now we're filling it and we hit 65 psi so now that we're charged properly we could take our hose off and replace the 
cap. That's also an indicator of whether or not the tank goes bad. And that's it. Now this tank is properly charged for the water pressure in this house.